Hey guys, welcome back. Here's another quick tip in Luminar Neo, and this is how to change the color of an object like that. Here's a photo. I'm not going to do anything with it. There's develop raw, but I'm skipping all that. I'm going to go straight to color, and this is how you can change the color of something super easy. In the color tool or filter, click on HSL, and at the very bottom, there's this slider called hue shift. And you'll notice as I drag this hue shift slider, the hue is shifting in the object, right? Now it's technically shifting across the entire photo. I'm gonna show you a second example, but look what I can do. That red cup can be blue, for example, if I want it to. And there it is before, and there it is after. Now that's a super easy example. I wanna show you one more that requires a little bit of masking, but still very easy to do. Okay, here's my second example. Once again, open color and go down here to hue shift. And let's say I wanna change the color of this truck. I can make it green and now notice everything is changing color because in that first photo I had a solid black background, nothing else is showing up. So it was a very simple example of this technique, but this one's a little bit more involved, but let's say I wanna make the truck some kind of blue, uh, maybe like that, let's say. However, <laughs> the grass is purple. This is not a Dr. Seuss photo, right? So I'm gonna go into masking. I'm gonna use mask AI because it automatically detects things in the photo, including transport, as you can see. So I'm gonna choose transport, and it's gonna automatically mask the truck for me, which means it's applying these adjustments to the truck. Now there's a little bit of cleanup that needs to be done, so I'm gonna go over to brush, and I'm gonna get erase, and I'll just shrink my mouse, and I will clean up these edges just a little bit, and I'll do this really roughly. It's uh, kind of bleeding over the edge here, and I'm making a real mess of this. So I recommend that you take your time and do this slowly. I'm also gonna go in here and get the window through the back of the truck and this window over here on the side, clean that up a little bit as well. But what you can now see is my truck is blue because I've made that hue shift across the entire photo, use mask AI to just pick out what I want the color to be changed in, and then uh, masked out some of the uh, overlap. So there it is before, and there it is now. Now you need to be careful with the masking because around these edges, it's still kind of bleeding through. So take your time and mask accordingly so that you get an accurate cut out, let's call it that. But then I can come in and do whatever it is I wanna do. Maybe I wanna do Accent AI, just to kind of bump up the overall look of the photo. And now that I've done that, I like the truck, it looks really good, but the grass is too much. So maybe I come into color, and maybe I take the saturation of the yellows and the greens down, just to reduce that a little bit. Bottom line is you have lots of power, flexibility, and control to do these kind of things. Use the hue shift in color, make adjustments, mask it in, be careful with the brush. As you can see, the edges around here need to be cleaned up, but you can very quickly go in and change the color of an object in your photo like that. That's a quick tip for today, my friends. Thanks for watching. I'll be back really soon. You guys take care and adios.